internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative, and the Synergy Lifestyle Academy, and I'm here with my new friends, Rox and Charles, and they are in down 35W in Dallas, right? You there? That's right, Brad. That's Absolutely. Right. Hello. What's the weather like down there? Hot. What's the weather like up there? Hot. Yeah. Some yeah. people think Minnesota's cold, Minnesota, but it, in the summer it's hot, in the winter it's yeah. cold. <laughs> We have the same problem here in Texas. It's it's hot in the summer and it's it's, it's cold. Cold by Texas standards is sure. anything under 50, 50 degrees. We're looking for sweaters, okay? Exactly. Yeah, that's uh, that's the way it works. It's the ebb and flow of life, man. Get used to it. <laughs> so as as I mentioned earlier, I don't do these two real long because I think people have that uh, commodity of time that is very very rare, and we'll talk later about that because I understand you're a fan of time too. But what I'd like to do first off is just find out. Who you are, and are you you guys married? You got kids? You got fur babies? You both single, wild, and crazy? What's the deal there? I got a pet rock. Does that count? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're we have worked together for very for various companies for a lot of years. We're not married. We each have our own children. Uh, we write together because we started off writing boring documentation for technology companies. Boring, like boring. Even building to the point we were building tests for people to take, and if that isn't mind numbing enough, I mean, um, you know, I don't know what is. So, yeah, we uh, we got into the, uh, the uh, into an operational rhythm of uh, of writing, so uh, solving problems. And um, first couple of uh, technical manuals we did, uh, as soon as they were done, they were out of date. So wow. uh, I stomped off, uh, picked up my marbles, and you know went home, um, and. Um, <clears throat> Rox didn't uh, didn't give up. She's like, "Come on, come on, come 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 in, come in back in uh, back in the window. Come on, that's you know, uh, don't jump. Uh, let's let's try this again. Only let's try fiction okay. with a technical technical background uh, baked in." Well, my background is of course the magical entertainment. Uh, when I was a kid, I did magic. So the difference between fiction and real is not too far. That's exactly <laughs> right. And we're lucky because um, his wife is our editor, so we. We can make sure that you know we stay on the straight and narrow with it with the books. Oh, she keeps you in line, huh? She does. Literally. She does. It's not funny, you know. Or oh, that's really funny. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, every you once go. in a while, you know, she'll come in on something and she'll say, "Really? I didn't see that coming." So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my wife is a coach, and I think it's important to have someone that can reflect things back to you with the caring and loving uh, yeah. way of doing it. Because oftentimes our brains and our minds are thinking one way because that's all we've got is a, you know, our cognitive reality. And you need somebody else that's outside of it to go, hey, take a different look at this. That's right. <laughs> Pay attention here. So yeah. we're up. So where do you work? Do you have an office that you work out of? Or do you both work out of your homes? Or are you kind of mobile like I am? Or how, where do you work? Well, we've uh, uh, we're still working for uh, uh, in our day jobs for technical companies. I work for uh, you know a large uh, telecom uh, global company, and they uh, they basically toss me at uh, um, all the different consulting gigs that they can find. Um, they pick they typically throw me at uh, into uh, in an, into an area that uh, to solve the problem that the salesperson sold them. So um, I'm there to fix what the sale what they bought from the salesperson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And I'm I'm really focused these days on customer experience and optimizing whatever the technology investments people have made in their organizations, but also now driving that customer experience because we have so shifted from business focused to consumer focused. And totally. so I help drive those those reasons for changing, those reasons for investing back to the consumer. So that's that's, kind of that's really important these days because so many people don't realize that they're using this automated robotic technology they think that is saving them time when it's really putting them farther away from their customer. Like if someone signs up to a newsletter and they're just lazy, they don't put the real name in there, just, they just put like bingo in there or something, they right. don't realize that now if they've got print merge function, uh, functions in their newsletters, they're going to be getting dear bingo. And it's not going to be authentic and genuine and sincere, and the person's going to get farther away. So I think customer service is very, very important to bring that human element back. So cheers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. And I, I do think that we, we just don't pay attention to what's going on. There's still some older companies, older technologies, mm -hmm. and they just need to just 
suck it up buttercup and get something new. Well, totally. They don't look at it from the user point of view because they're so busy developing and thinking that things are, that, that'd be cool if that did that. Well, no, it's not. I don't like it. I don't like all those little things where you just push a button and it says, hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Because you weren't sincere about it. You just pushed the button because it was easy. That's right. <laughs> I don't like that yeah. automation. I like some automation, but it's got to, you got to bring that human element back into it. To yeah. Well, I mean, the biggest it. problem that we get is that, uh, um, and I'm, I'm guilty of this sometimes, but not always, but uh, it, it's the, uh, you know, here's the main, newest, shiniest bobble that you can get. And it, people in my industry are always chasing the newest thing. And they stop and forget, they, they forget that the reason that they're doing that was for solving a problem, not buying more stuff. Right. If it doesn't solve a business problem, then you're wasting your time and your money. Unfortunately, it cre oftentimes creates problems. Exactly Agreed. right. Yeah. You got to get down to the basics of things. Uh, like I use the nature analogy for business. There's three things that you got to do. You got to plant seeds, nurture the plants, harvest the fruit. That's all you got to do. Right. <laughs> You yep. don't need to buy all this fancy dancy stuff to do it. I mean, even with the technology that I'm using with the Synergy Collaborative now, I'm going back to just a way to receive money, which is PayPal, and then a way to comp to uh, reward other people, which is an affiliate program. That's it. I don't Very I don't simple. need any fl platforms. And anyways, I don't enough about me. Let's talk about you. Okay. So so do you have any? Um, upcoming projects or programs and things that you can offer people that you can share that you got going on right now? Well, am I glad you asked that. So actually you are contacting us at a really exciting time. So this weekend, the 10th book in the Enigma series, the Enigma source is actually going to become available on ebook and paperback book. So for us, that's very exciting to have 10 books out in the series and, and have them available. In lockstep with that, we have been going down for what, almost a year and a half, two years of converting the series into audibles. Now, I don't know if you've ever done an audible and either people love audible or they don't love audible. It's just, it's a very diverse thing and it's very personal to people, whether they like it or they don't like it. So we've been converting them so that we can allow people to have their choice, that customer experience thing going on. And the Enigma always will be coming out before September 1st. We just finished the reviews on that, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So it, it, it's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, obviously, we've written the, uh, the, uh, the books and the storylines and, the, you know, the 150-character uh, universe that we built out of. It took, took me by surprise, I'll, I'll be, be honest. When it, uh, we heard the first audible, it was like, oh, wow. I mean, I, we wrote this, but the dimension. The um, being brought into the storyline um, with a uh, with an audible voice narrator was uh, was quite an experience. So uh, you know we we were pleased with the uh, with the way that was uh, was working. So we've like uh, and you know to Rock's point, I mean we got some people like no no it, it, it's hard copy or I'm not that interested. And then there's some people like I don't have time to read, but I can listen. While I'm on the car, stuck in traffic, and uh, night, and or you know, I've got the family on uh, on vacation across the, st the states. Well, what a lot of people don't realize is if they, they might prefer one or the other, but they're doing both, whether they like it or not. <laughs> yes. And uh, they also don't realize that what technology is happening with it when they are in their car. The new radio is basically your Bluetooth connection to an audible. So that's what people are doing now, whether they like it or not. Um, and if yeah. you're just a fan of Audible, I'm sure you've read a book, too. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. Well, and it's, it's the dimension, as Charles mentioned. It, w it was amazing to us, the very first one that was done, because it does add a richness. Mm -hmm. uh, not as good as having someone pick it up for a movie, which we're all about that. If somebody well, we can up, try and plant those seeds. You never can tell what's going to happen. But uh, that, that's one of the back the back projects we've got, where it's like, uh, let's. what would that look like? And it's a, it's a quantum leap, obviously. To be able to take even just going from the uh, from the audible mm -hmm. to uh, you know, a screenplay, sure. uh, we've looked at it and like, wow, uh, I did a lot more time to be able to work on that. And we're back to what you said earlier at the top of the show, you know, um, what's my best use of time because I only get so much of it 
don't squander it. Yep, but uh, I like to look at things in the element of maybe you or I don't know how to do it or have the time for it, but there's somebody else out there that does and is passionate about it. And if they just make that connection and let them run with it, that's... Yeah. And that's, that's, got, that's where, where we're drifting. Well, I was going to throw something else in about the audible part versus the book. Is the, It's a lot of what's happening with social media. Is there's not a lot of audible to it. It's a lot of reading. And that's where the fights start happening because people misinterpret a word. They don't hear the cadence in the voice. Whereas in audible, if someone says a word that's, that's uh, on the edge of its meaning, the cadence in their voice will represent the actual meaning of what they're trying to get across whereas when you type it you might not know like i don't know if you've seen some of those little phrases where it matters where you put the comma like oh, Let, yeah. let's yeah. eat grandma yeah that let's kind of stuff grandma. yeah okay yeah <laughs> yeah that's uh um you know we spent we try to spend a lot of time making sure we get the right inflection exactly in the, red, in the written book as well as uh our voice narrator he's just he's maniacal about the uh, uh the storyline he's like and he, a couple of times he said, I don't think that this, I, I'm saying it just right. Try, let me run this past you. And we look at it and say, he's right. We yeah. need to, uh, you know, do a little tweaking here and, and there for some of the, uh, the odd areas that didn't quite make the transition from printed to audible. Yeah, there's a, something that happens in the subconscious where it's coming from your heart and how it gets communicated. If it isn't right, it doesn't feel right. And you got to change things up. But speaking of change things up, I like I said, I don't like these too long. I'd like to find out how can we get a hold of you, and uh, is there like a website or things like that that we can share, or maybe some social media platforms that we can learn about how to learn more about what you're doing. Sure, uh, we've got the uh, our, our website that's got all of our videos, uh, chunks of uh, uh, the story you download, um, you know, snippets of. Uh, of the interviews that we've done uh, over the, uh, uh, the past uh, you know, five or six years, www.enigmaseries.com. Is that right? Yeah. Right? Enigma series or Enigma book series will both work to uh, get us to the website or and get anyone to the website. Yeah. Enigma spelled with E N I E N I G M A series series.com. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then the same from, Facebook to Twitter at Enigma series and at the Enigma series, both will connect with that and Pinterest. Perfect. So you got that. Those, those words are keyworded for you. That's good branding. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> Own it. <clears throat> and then if people want to just send us an email, there's a couple ways they can do that. Authors at Enigma series.com will certainly work. Um, if they go to the website, which Charles mentioned before, one of the fun things is they can sign up. And then get a monthly email, which they're giving permission to do, and they can unsubscribe anytime. But what do they get when they do that? They get uh, a handcrafted coloring book that they can download for free. Oh, wow. My wife loves coloring books. books. I'm going to have to share that yeah. with her. Well, it's, it's got the, uh, a little uh, a technical, uh, or a little quiz at the end that uh, we had uh, a little excess fun with. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I don't think I've had anybody pass it. And uh, we grade it pretty hard. So when they uh, when they take the test, it's uh, if they uh, they come up with an 85 or less, it's like uh, you need to go home to your mommy. Um, so, <laughs> uh, but it, it's uh, it's all in, all in fun and good jest. Well, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe right now, and I'm going to beam this up to the universe, and we'll get it out to some people, and I'm going to even tag in something about movie because you never know, there might be some Spielberg type person that wants to pick it up. <laughs> you never know. Thanks, Brad. You never Thank know. you. Okay, peace, love, and happiness. Enjoy your rest of your day. Be well. Bye. 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 Bye.